In this video, I'll demonstrate how to install a Zigbee IoT LED light bulb. In this case, it's the Ashram Lightify LED bulb. From the Ruckus IO controller, you would go to the IoT AP, and then you would click on the AP that we have, and you'll notice on the right that it brings up a menu. So I can scan for the device, I can restart the IoT device, I have the particular settings, and in this case, the mode is Zigbee. And if you look at this, you'll notice that I have Zigbee BLE and Zigbee AA, which stands for Zigbee Asa Abloy. As a note, each AP can only scan and control devices on one protocol, such as Zigbee BLE, Zigbee AA, and so forth. You'll notice that we have an advanced mode down here, and if I show that, I can scroll down. And I could set a channel for specific devices. You'll notice that we're on channel 25. The transmit power, it can be anywhere from 1 up to 16. And then we have the IoT Management VLAN, if it's on. And in this case, it's not on. But you could set up these requirements. So we're going to scroll back to the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan for this IoT device. Now, before I do that, You'll need to know about your specific device's discovery process. I have another tab that's open to the Ruckus IoT Controller Configuration Guide, so let's go to that. And if I go to the table of contents, I would see a section down here, Managing your IoT access points. What I'm going to do is to manage the Ashram LED bulb, and that's on page 50, so I'll scroll down to page 50. And you'll notice that it says, to discover the ashram light bulbs, complete the following operations. You want to make sure that the bulb is in the off state. Then you're going to switch the power on for five seconds. Then you're going to switch the power off for two seconds. Then you're going to repeat steps two and three five times. And then you're going to turn on the power. And then it says that the ashram light bulb on the reset initiate discovery blinks blue, green, and red. And then the light bulb remains on. So I have a camera focused on this light bulb, and I'm going to hit scan for IoT devices, and then I'm going to power the bulb on for five seconds, off for two seconds, and then repeat this five times and keep the bulb on. So I'm going to click on scan IoT devices, turn the bulb on, off for two seconds, on. Off for two seconds. On. Off for two seconds. On. Off for two seconds. And then we'll turn it on for the fifth time. You notice that we have discovered the bulb, so I'm going to give the bulb a name. I'm going to call it the Ashram LED bulb, and then I'm going to hit accept. It says that the operation was successful. Then I'm going to stop scanning. Now if I go to the IoT devices, you'll now see that the LED bulb has been configured. So now what I'm going to do is operate this bulb. So if I click on that IoT device, it brings up a menu. This is my LED Ashram bulb. It gives me the IoT device name, gives me the IoT AP's MAC address, and then I have a series of menus here. So first, I can blacklist this if I want to. I could install code. I don't have that. Device information is on and off the identity gives me some basic information gives me some color control so there's a lot of options that you can have on this and it has some available controls so since this bulb is on i'm going to go ahead and hit off that'll turn the bulb off then i could turn it back on or i could use the toggle and i can toggle it off and i can toggle it on toggle it off toggle it on Next, I have some color control here. So if I click on this, I can control that color. So for example, if I want to give it a different color, I can select that. Or if I want to give it a blue color, I can select that over here. Or I can go back to the default color that I had here and turn this off. 
You also have some groups, so you could put this bulb in a group. Let's say if this was in a particular building and it was in a particular room or a particular floor, you could do that. So you could identify a group, and in this case, it's group one. The level control, this is where I can set the intensity of it, and I could do a step mode, or I could move this. So let's say if I move this down, you'll notice that the bulb has gone down. If I move it back up, you notice that it increases, or I could use a step mode and step my way through different light intensities. Now, if I go back to the dashboard, you'll see that I now have two devices up here. The green means that it's less than five minutes. So I've got two devices. The, the device by protocol is Zigbee. The IoT by protocol is Zigbee. And as I mentioned before, each IoT AP would have a different protocol. So if you had Zigbee or if you had ASA Abloy or if you had BLE, you would use a different IoT dongle in each one of those. So this completes our demonstration on how to install and discover a Zigbee Ashram LED IoT endpoint.